Hello, guys. Mm, have a good day. Well, this is sunny day here. Lots of sunny. Mostly in Canada. Most of the place. Six months cold and six months summer. But this is the... Mm, this area is BC, Vancouver. Vancouver is a really sunny place and good weather. Like uh, if you compare with America, Miami or California, same. But here is the I, most of the time I make my video about meditations, awareness, or mindfulness. Meditation, what is like a, if you say meditation, meditation is so many things. Meditation is because there are lots of type of meditation. If you see Samadha, Vipassana, even there are Buddha teaching or non Buddha teaching, or so many religious people or spiritual people, the practice meditation so many way and on way. But there is the I just talk about mostly Buddha and his meditation methods what kind of meditations he uh, done and he went and he this his follower he have if you see there are so many meditation also buddha and his lifetime he follow he teach his followers because there are many he, if you see human beings society there's a lot of humans because one human eat another human he cannot be hundred percent mass. That's why so many characters, so many people are so many characters and so many um, type of mentality, so many type of uh, uh, if you say uh, mostly character. If you say character is better because I don't want to use what he has desire or some things. Because modern people don't want to oh, hear about desire what because modern scientific things science have a so much desire. Desire actually if you talk Buddha and science there is scientific things, so many desire things, so many ignorance things. All uh, desire cost of ignorance. Today science have so much ignorance, so much desire. That's why they are working day and night, so much hard, spending so much energy, so much money, so much property, and so much time to find, create peace or happiness, satisfactions uh, outside of worlds, like a materials, or material things, or unknown planet, or unknown glassy earth, somewhere else the working very very hard for that and spending time and spending money and all energy to find out peace and happiness and satisfaction pleasures things or joy right but buddha and his teaching totally different with science or other religious belief or faith or systems because buddhism you don't need any faith or any belief you know, need to be fresh. The Buddhism not expect to you have to be fresh someone or you have to be something, some mantra or tantra. You have to be uh, uh, listen someone, follow someone, nothing. This is not a Buddha teaching. Buddha teaching about the true teaching about the you follow yourself, you listen from yourself, so you learn from yourself, you knowing yourself, and you observe yourself, you have oneness yourself. This is the Buddha, and Buddha, and his teachings. But there nothing with religion or nothing in science because science thing today, if you see science, totally people are fast worlds mostly. You see, people are not a happy or peace or third world. There are also people not happy have a peace. Because third worlds have so much religious things, the life religion, the faith of religion, because their people, thousand years, they have done that much advance with you know, modernized or modern scientific education or things. That's why most of the people that depends 
depends in religious faith. This can be Muslim, Hindu, Christian, Catholic, or Sikh, Jain, Buddhist, whatever. But this is the third world thing, third world or second worlds. But first worlds here also have a so much religious thing too. They are mostly people, Catholic, Christian, Protestants, or United, whatever, and then Jewish, and then after. Uh, all over sec first or second so many again people come here from Asian country the bring Buddhism Hinduism Sikhism Jainism that are Islam lot of religions still but modern mentality people educate people who have a highly education or highly um, open that minds that don't want to pay anyone that don't want to follow anyone that don't want to uh, live under someone or live free, free. Those kind of people that don't believe any religions. But here, scientific people also don't believe religions. They, but here is the problem. Science today, people, if you see first world people or or rich people, second world rich people or third world rich people or first world rich people or first world. All people, least poor, middle class people. People totally addicted by materialistic life. Now, materialistic. Science makes people are today addicted materials. Technology or material, whatever things. It's going to be house, it's going to be, it's going to be car, it's going to be mobile, it's going to be iPad, iPhone, or whatever. it's going to be a sort of so many type of material thing, electronic things or material things. But it can be health care for or can be mental care or health care or skin care, beauty care or relaxing or living or traveling or, or protecting, protecting or protections. Everything is totally science. Making day after day new materials to providing to people to live heavy, live longer, live safe, live secure. But how much is people as people people feel safe or secure or health healthy or safety? One side if you see Vietnam, Laos, Cambodia or Japanese or World War Second past, there's lot of uranium, lot of nutrition things, nuclear things. This nuclear today is still in Vietnam or Cambodia. There are so many people born as a uh, life illness or sex or disease or cancer or death, disability things and handicrafts and things. Uh, lots of things. This is the science. Cost of science make these things. Science destroying today your life and science destroying your environment, science destroying your nature, science destroying everything in nature, destroying your nature and your fresh air and fresh environment, fresh energy, everything and making and make your life very unsecure and unsecure. People loving only material people today cannot love each other people killing each other, hunting each other and hate, hating each other cost of people want materials material, 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 material people day and night busy for getting material, more material because material science and science providing material to make you happy, healthy or good but this material for you have to work harder and make money, need money, need investments and you doing today working hard day after day you doing all type of bad, good, crime or good things to get this thing. You are not anymore. Have a respect with any others, your family, your parents, relative partners or, or, or community, society, country, people or citizens. This is the happen science. And how good is science? You see, science totally today, even science, whatever you go, there is nothing any fresh environments, pollution problem, lots of problem and you don't have a nature to see or enjoy or live in nature. There is problem. Another side religious thing. Religious another problem. 
is faith. Everybody have own faith, own belief, own systems. Everybody will say, oh, my religion is great, my faith is great, my faith is, is pure, so that is wrong, other is false, facts, just we are the gods. And each other blaming, and each other hating, each other uh, hate or harms, and even this going to be sometimes very stems and violence or killing each other. This is the happens. But here is the Buddha teaching. Actually, Buddha teaching after Buddha, people make easy religions. People mix up religion because so many Hinduistic people, Muslimistic people are um, attacking attack Buddhism. In, if you see thousand and two thousand years before, they have so many attacked by Hindu or Brahmanism or Hinduism, Muslim people. Buddhist culture, Buddhist nature, Buddha nature, Buddha culture. Then after Buddhist, Buddha and his teaching moved India to other countries like China, Hong Kong, Japan, Korea, Thailand, Vietnam and then Vietnam or other countries. And after there are also some local people that don't keep pure Buddha teaching as a Buddha, what Buddha said. Buddha natural teaching or his true teaching or his is through awareness or through mindfulness, through uh, natural and knowing things, mindfulness things, this is no more lab 100% fuels. It's going to be local people make on way. And they just keep name, but methods or truth that make ons, mixing ons. That's why so many people blaming, oh, no. Uh, like uh, Thailand or other Buddhist countries, so many they have a prostitution problem, sex problem. But sex with Buddha, the Buddha with have no relation. This is the his own country, own system, own citizens, own local peoples, people living or legal people, local peoples. Uh, how the one, how the want to live, how the want to defend, how want to survive. This is own business. There's nothing we need to Buddha and, and Buddha and his teachings. This is people, people highest, people highest. Buddha for you know, need to be you know need to be Thai, you need to be Burmese, you need to be Chinese or Japanese, Korean. Buddha teaching is everywhere, everywhere, every place, everyone in sight. Just as you have to learn to yourself, knowing yourself, learn yourself, learn nature and truth, awareness. This. Awareness with every single mental status or every single physical status, just awareness this and learn this. This is the Buddha teaching. They are nothing with any local culture or tradition systems or peoples or skin color, language, or nothing, nothing with this thing. Buddha teaching where you live, you white or you blue, you green, you black, you red, you browns. Doesn't matter. You English speak, you English Spanish, you English Jap speak Japanese or Chinese, Hindi or Arabic. Doesn't matter. Just where you live, just you know yourselves. You learn yourselves. You have awareness yourselves. Your mind and body. Just knowing all good and bad starting from you is going to be end from you. You can end this, and you can. There is everything is your hands. You have to defend yourself. This is the Buddha teachings. When you need to press someone, you need to be depend any material or using material to get your happiness or, or awareness yourself and enlighten yourself. You enlighten yourself. You can enlighten yourself. Nobody can enlighten yourself, enlighten yourself. This is the Buddha teaching. Buddha teaching says you want to you have to enlighten yourself. Nobody will enlighten yourself. Some people nobody can provide you enlightenment or give you enlightenment power or capacity quality understanding or knowledge wisdom you have to do yourself this is the buddha teaching you have, that's why you need to be buddhist or you need to be christian or catholic or muslim Sikh, giants or hindu or nothing nothing just use a you need to be as a humans just you need to be have capacity to understand to have to be awareness that's it this is the nothing that's why ignore people, so most so many people, other religious people, little bit liberal, but the blaming of Buddhist people do prostitutions or crime or killing people, hiding people, hunting people, 
Burma, that we prefer the Burma, that is Thailand or Vietnam or whatever Japanese, Chinese. This is the local problem. This is this not a Buddha problem. Buddha, Buddha teaching. We look Buddha and Buddha teaching. Don't look Buddhist peoples. Buddhist people is nothing to do. The, this is the just a community. Buddhist is a community or society. It's just it's not to be hundred percent doubt or follow hundred percent because it's this totally freedom. You own choice. You follow, don't follow is you. Nobody, nobody going to push you. Nobody going to undertaking you. Nobody pushing you. Just you. Up to you. Everything is you. Different you. Hmm. That's why you know me to be Buddhist. Just follow yourself. Where you live. Uh, as far as your position, what do you do? You are a businessman, you are a rich man, you are a politician, you are a student, you are, you are a worker, or you are a teacher, doctor, engineer, whatever, farmer. Just where you live, your position, your own place to use, just follow yourself. Learn yourself, know yourself. Because you are doing tired today, day after day. Learning what else? Learning other, learning things, learning materials, or learning outside the world. It's tired, but it's not ending. It's so much. Your life is going to end. Your limited life, 100 year life or 80 year life going to be life end. But you cannot learn, finish these things. That's why Buddha said, if you want to really, totally, you want to enlighten yourself, just learn yourself. Start from you. No need to start your thousand books or thousand places to visit or um, thousand people to meet. No need it. This not spend this time. This is unnecessary. This is the Buddha through this thing. And you have to live totally neutral and live neutral. Neutral. Very neutral, new nature. Very simple, very humble, and very good. Very good. That's it. This is the Buddha teaching. There are nothing to do. But don't misunderstand, misunderstand or misestimate Buddha and, Buddha and his teachings. We see the Buddha, Burmese, Thai, Sri Lankan, or whatever. Yeah, same things. Thank you so much, guys. I hope you understand what I want to say.